So here are three ink tablets and I think that these three might be the best three for drawing. This is the Remarkable 2, this is the Kindle Scribe and just recently they've added to Kindle Scribe pen with tilt. They've added some different pen options here and one of them is pencil with an actual tilt function which is great. This is the Books Tab Ultra and on the Tab Ultra they've also added pen tilt. So there's actually pen pencil option now on the Tab Ultra which works with tilt which is a really natural way to draw on something that I really have loved on the Remarkable and I'm going to just draw one thing I've got here this is a, a bit of a Raphael here and I'm going to draw for five minutes on each and I'm going to tell you what I think is the best option for artists there are some definite advantages that I think over e for each let's just get into it and as I go I'll give you a bit of my sort of thoughts should be interesting. So I'm just gonna throw five minutes on the clock for each so that we've just got the same amount of time and it's as fair as possible. I'm gonna start with the Remarkable and the reason for that is because it's the one that I'm most used to using. And because I'm gonna draw the same picture three times, I wouldn't want you to have the impression that I was just learning and getting better at actually drawing this particular face, which obviously I've never drawn before. As I'm reasonably good with the Remarkable, I would say, I've used the Remarkable before. It's not a case that I'm learning to use it. The one that I'm least familiar with, which is the Kindle Scribe, then that should be the last one that I use. The nicest thing about the Remarkable is that it does have the um, layers and so I am going to sort of as I go work through the layers here. Feeling a little bit tethered to my camera. Gosh, it's surprising how much pressure you have to put on the remarkable to get it to, to go. This maybe is gonna be worse than I thought it was gonna be. Does it allow you to pinch and zoom though? It seems to be working as well as it used to. Is that because of the new... Oh, I'm sure they've made this worse. I'm using, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the same pen, I'm using the scribe pen, but it's the same technology, so it should have no advantage for it being a scribe pen over any other of them. There seems there seem to be quite a lot of pressure needed. It's the exact same technology though. You just got to get used to the extra pressure that you need on the Remarkable as opposed to Okay, that's the time up there. I'm gonna stop. Not that I want to. <laughs> I want to actually carry on with this. That's not my best effort by some distance. A bit surprised about that, actually. That would took me a little bit longer to get used to than I am used to. I have really enjoyed working on the Remarkable. The pinch to zoom used to be so much better, but you can also see this. Can you see that actually it looks, it doesn't just look like a zoomed in version. When the different zooms, they render the pen quite differently. It does not, you know, it doesn't seem to really tally exactly what is going on. And I didn't even get time to use the layers, so I think that I kind of rushed a little bit there. But there you are, it is a drawing, it's just not perfect. I definitely like the screen surface. I found that the pressure was a little bit much, that you had to press down more than I still seem to remember. And that's probably because I have been using the scribe, which maybe you have to press down less. That's not to say that there's anything wrong with that because that's just something I find you get used to. So let's go ahead and make a new drawing here in the Ultra and give it a go. So this is the Books Tab Ultra, which does also have a pencil tool. It's on pencil already. So that's working, this is. And I'm gonna throw five minutes on the clock with this. You can use layers on here as well, and I'll talk about the export options towards the end of the video as well. So you would hope that the drawing itself gets better. That is so much less pressure needed to activate this. It's, it's strange. And the Books Tab Ultra does have less of a 
matte surface, less frictiony surface, so it feels a little bit less like paper. It's still perfectly fine and comfortable to use, which is the important point there. You can use the zoom function as well. So it'll give you a sort of a sharp uh, an edge, even in like when you haven't tilted, but it does give you a nice sort of tonal layer. So I'm sort of inclined to fill in some of the tones first and then go back. But I'm not getting, there is nowhere near the, the range that there was on the Remarkable. That's what's holding me up here. It's sort of a bit more on and off. As, as light a touch, you see. However, you can go and get a mid grey. And then I'm going to get another layer. And on that layer, I'm actually going to start inking. I'm sorry, Rafa. I have really not done you much of a service here today. It's funny, I sort of at a funny angle because. You see, the nice thing is because you've got those layers, you can go ahead and you can also sort of underpaint these as well. So now I can go into the layers here and say, well, actually, I need more of a tonal range down this side of the screen. So yeah, not bad. At least it's a, <laughs> at least it's a start. <laughs> I think that these would all need me to use them for longer. Actually, I'm not totally um, disappointed with that. That's going in a good direction, that drawing. It's not, it's not perfect yet, but it is going in a good direction. Lastly then, this is the newcomer. I'm pretty much exclusively gonna use the pencil tool. I found it to be quite good when I gave it a go just the other night, so let's have a go today. Right, same five minutes, same drawing, let's go. No, absolutely no pinch to zoom, no option there. It is a nice response. It does, the pen latency, you know, is a pleasant thing for drawing. This, oh, it is good. So that is a good range. Very easily. See how I can control that pressure quite a lot better. I'm pleased with that. I'll be careful because I'll run out of time here as well. But I'm, I'll be honest with you, I've surprised myself because I'm really enjoying this far more than the other two. Dots per inch is a good brush. They've done a good job building these new pencil tools. So fair play to them. I think that this has been the best experience of drawing, but this is definitely not the best of the drawings, if that makes sense. But I'm feeling that I could probably work this up into a nicer final drawing than the others. And possibly I could get used to this. I think this is a slightly naive, uh, you know, it's not as nice a drawing, it's not as good a drawing, in honesty. Right, that's you. That's the comparison there. Stop. <laughs> in conclusion, well, those three are not the three 
drawings I'm most proud of in my life. Those three tablets are all fantastic for drawing on. Is this something you'd like to see more of? You'd like to see more about these three as a base of drawing? Then let me know. I actually think possibly the Books Tab Ultra has turned out to be the best of the drawings, but I think that the sort of nicest response to the pen tools was definitely the Kindle Scribe. And I don't think that is because of the actual pen itself. If I go back to this, I don't think that there is enough of a difference. I was just finding it harder to get the sort of fine gradients between this remarkable and the Kindle. The Kindle did a really good job of actually responding to that. Now lastly though, the last thing to discuss before I leave it and um, ask you if you've got any comments is just about the export options. So the nicest thing about the Remarkable is that you can actually send this to wherever you like, but you can also send it as an SVG. You can also download that from the Remarkable Cloud as well in any of those forms as well, PDF, PNG or SVG. And if you go into the SVG, then you have all of that information as a vector. So actually you can work up, you can go back and you can, oh, I didn't like that stroke. You can delete that stroke, you can replace that yourself. The export options with the books, let's have a little look. Well, certainly you can save, you can share, you can send it as vector-based PDFs as well. So you can get the vector information from it as well, which you could work with afterwards as well and that is useful that is honestly a very very useful thing however the kindle is not there yet in terms of the export options the only real export option you have if i go back into my notebooks and why it's still in spiders share quick send that's all i think i don't think there's any other way to get that down you certainly can't get it down from the cloud let's send these all as let's just do them all as pngs it's come through the pdf on the kindle though Really surprisingly, the worst is the Remarkable. Really surprised about that. This is just the worst straight off the device though, because I'm aware that I can get that SVG information and I can make that better, but that is a bigger task. The one that's gonna go furthest, is actually the, the Kindle is a lot more high contrast on the black and white. The one that's gonna go furthest, the one that's got the most pleasing finish is going to be books tab ultra i think i could go i think i could enjoy drawing on that more i don't know i'm finding this really interesting this is not the last video i'm going to do on this topic i think because i'm i'm really keen on e-ink for drawing and i've always felt that i could go to a art gallery and enjoy sketching or do any kind of sketching on the remarkable more than any other of the devices but now i'm thinking it's possibly fallen behind interesting if true well, thanks very much for watching see you in the next one let me know what your thoughts are about this drawing apart from to say that these are bad drawings because i'm aware they're not my best effort but they're going in the right direction these are five minutes worth of drawing rather than a full whack and i only did that for the sake of fairness surprising all right so now i'll go on the tab x which has of course got the same tools as the tab ultra same thing, and let's get the custom. I think what I've learned is I really like using the scale pencils. I have five of these. So I couldn't really resist doing a better job, actually do justice to uh, Raphael um, by doing this drawing on the books platform on the Tab X, which is just come in for review as well. Although there is no doubt that the Kindle Scribes pencil tool is objectively better than the books. At least books does give you the option to have a different grayscale of pen and it gives you the option to work in layers. So as you can see here, I'm just working up from a lighter tone through to a heavier tone of pencil. And that's exactly what I'd do with a normal pencil. I'd work from uh, HB through to a 9B. And then of course I can put on top of that, I can put actual pen or brush really dark layers on top as well. And of course you can add highlights as well, which is another really nice feature from that very top layer. The only thing I did notice is when I got to this sort of point that if I did an undo function, then it would come up with this large volume rendering note thing and that was a bit annoying so what I would say to books is that I would love it if you would actually develop a dedicated drawing app that would be a really really useful thing on your amazing devices for drawing the, the pen tools don't need tweaked all that much all it just is it needs to be able to handle that larger volume of actual 
vector information to allow it to handle that just that little bit better. We could also have some layer blending options and basically you do an amazing job books of making a dedicated drawing app and you could really win this kind of category of the best devices for drawing. Let's go.